Hey, this is Father Todd here at St. Mary's, and uh, and what a great opportunity for us to be able to talk a little bit about some of the great things that God has been doing this past year. January of 2020, who would have predicted the kinds of uh, things that we would have gone through, the kind of year that it would have been? And yet, you know, we're able to say that God has really been working, really been doing things that has opened doors for uh, all kinds of ministry and the opportunity to touch people. Um, we didn't know uh, last fall uh, when we put a significant investment into, uh, into our communications technology. Because of your investment uh, through the capital campaign, all of a sudden lots of people are able to be touched. More people are able to be touched digitally now through St. Mary's than are able to sit in our worship, uh, in our in our worship services at church. Uh, we had set about to do the renovation in Ross Hall, and uh, and that work has commenced. And it's as I speak to you now is is coming in um, under budget and on time. So that amazingly, it looks like we're going to have uh, the the use of that uh, of that facility of that space for. Uh, for the Christmas Eve services. I mean, at a time when everything seems like it's closed down, St. Mary's has been busy uh, doing a lot, including uh, the, the calling of a third priest. Uh, Patsy McGregor, you know, is coming to be our director of spiritual formation for youth and families, which is so in keeping with the, with the, the interest and the investment of St. Mary's. It has to do with touching people. I have a picture uh, that's just over here uh, above my shoulder, and it's of, uh, of myself driving a bus with a young Native American boy on my lap as I drove this dilapidated school bus at, at a uh, Lakota Sioux Indian Reservation in North Dakota about 25 years ago. And that kid um, had, had uh, represented to me um, this this need for uh, for people like me who were who had the advantages all of the advantages of education and the support of wealth and the support of of a community of faith uh, that he did not have uh, and spiritual formation is the name that we use for that process so uh, so what are we, we going to be working on uh, this year so we're going to be greeting Patsy McGregor uh, as she comes and she joins our team this year, we are going to celebrate the give the uh, the, the uh, arrival of a vaccine that is going to kick this virus out of our lives, and we are going to double down on spiritual formation and really making an impact on the lives of the people in our community. Uh, we're not going to step back. We're going to move forward, and and we're so grateful for you. For you, because you're the one who is who are you're the ones who are, who are the investors. You're the ones who give your time and energy. You're the ones who pray and to support and encourage this work. Who help to make it happen. Without you, it doesn't happen. Without you, the body of Christ isn't. And I'm so glad we can be a part of it together. Thank you.